Welcome one and all, HJ19 here with a new segment called Jose's Corner, specifically dedicated to Steven Universe and its newest episodes. I got my shirt and I'm ready to go. So on Cartoon Network they have this thing called Steven Bomb where they release a new episode of Steven Universe at 6 o'clock for every single day of one whole week, giving us five new episodes depending on which week they want to give it to us. If I'm correct, this is the third Steven Bomb in the series and it's pretty great. The episode is called Cry for Help and it introduces a new fusion of Garnet and Pearl. Now they hinted at the fusion by releasing the name last week and it gave a lot of people theories of what this gem was going to be. Some people looked online and they found that it might be connected to Jasper and it was far beyond it because Rebecca Sugar showed a clip at San Diego Comic Con basically confirming that it was a fusion between Garnet and Pearl. So in this episode we get introduced to her and she's pretty cool. I mean what's not to like? She's an entertainer, she's a ma magician and her confidence and her show off attitude is just something that you end up liking of her character. But not only that we see a conflict with Amethyst because she wants to be a fusion as well and she wants to feel confident as well so throughout the whole episode she just fighting against herself because she feels like she betrayed the team and let them down with the past episode when she became Sugalite with Garnet and they lost control and unfortunately this episode sets up a big problem within the gems not only showing that Amethyst is conflicting with herself because she wants to be a fusion but Pearl ends up assembling the communication hub and just as an episode plays out we get a deeper look at how both gems feel when they're alone both Amethyst and Pearl care about fusion a lot to the point where they want to be a fusion as well But they can't always have that opportunity like Garnet does every single day And Pearl ends up being the fault of it all because she kept recreating the communication hub just to fuse And that hurt Garnet immensely And of course it ends off on a bad note with Garnet basically giving the cold shoulder to Pearl And Pearl understanding that she f***ed up but now she doesn't know what she's gonna do to fix it. And besides that, they have an even bigger problem on their hands, which they don't really necessarily understand. Because Pearl kept recreating the communication hub, and Peridot's signal kept shooting out into space multiple times, and this leads us to believe that maybe Yellow Diamond got that signal. It just sucks that Pearl has to be the, you know, the main initiator that screwed it all up, and now Yellow Diamond knows. And we know she knows because at San Diego Comic Con, they released another clip, basically a new intro, not only showing Jasper, Lapis, and Peridot, but also another figure that turns her head at the slight last moment. I gotta admit that was really cool but it just shows in the first episode that she is coming. She got the message and it was eventually Pearl's fault. So yeah Cry for Help has a lot of dark tones and it just sets up this whole arc where Garnet and Pearl are gonna have this big wall between them. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of the episodes that came out last week. Mainly because I didn't want to give a reaction video just like everyone else but so late into it not as as close to the episode's release as I wanted to. But hopefully on the next Steven Bomb, I'm gonna be able to do that. So until the next episode, I'll catch you guys later.